All right, guys. So here in this MGTOW community, in this philosophy, we always make reference to the cleanup man, which is the guy, the single mother will accept in her life when the Chads and Tyrones are, are exhausted or when the Chad and Tyrones won't marry them. And I got to thinking, guys, because somebody, Terminator 800, left it in the comment section, and I was like, let's dissect that word clean up. We know in baseball, the cleanup guy is the guy that backs forth. And his job is to bring the runners that hopefully made it to first, second, or third base before it was his time to come up the bat. And he's usually a slugger. And his job is to get hits and get as many of those guys in as possible. And I thought about it. The cleanup man, his stats will go down into eternity. And the cleanup man will be talked about in perpetuity. If he's able to get those guys, base runners, advance the home plate, guess what's going to happen? First base coach going to slap him on the ass. His teammates from across the field and everybody from the print bench is going to praise his ass. Again, he's going to go down into the history books. Everybody on that team sings his praises. The cleanup guy. Now, not so much when you wife up a single mother slut. I think back to all the shit I did for my stepkids. The times when I could have been given the money or the food that I was buying them with. I bought them little bastards a ton of goddamn food. That's food I could have been driving over to Union City giving to my daughter, but I didn't. It was times when I was taking them to school. There were times when I was babysitting them. There was time when I was making my life inconvenient. Now, the mother will say, well, you didn't do that much for my kids. Bitch, if I did one thing for those kids, it was more than enough because those fucking kids weren't mine. I can count on more than these two hands how many times I took her son to get a haircut and I paid for it. Knowing that when I took, you know what I used to do? I used to take my stepson away from places that his mother took him to because I knew the barbers were trying to get off in her ass. And I'm pretty sure, I can't say it for sure, that I'm sure she done fucked at least one of those barbers. Now I can't, I don't have the proof, but knowing my ex-wife and how she done got around and how she's a free spirit, I'm pretty sure she at least fucked one of them. Guys, you never appreciate it as a stepdaddy. So don't do it. Just screw these bitches. That's what other that's what every other Tom Dick and Harry is doing. You just the dummy that think you're special. That you can come in and change her. That she's gonna love you and appreciate you for you. And you're gonna replace the daddy. It doesn't matter how shitty that daddy is. Those are his fucking kids. And they have a bond to him. Remember this. As I always say, let that bitch speak.
spit her saliva and her phlegm on down here him. Alright? They ain't fucking gems, guys. They're 304s. They're 304s with kids. So, just dig in. Alright? I'm about this bitch. 